Hey everyone. So today I want to tell you a sad, sad story. Okay, not that sad. It's just a project of mine. I made a mistake, actually two mistakes, but uh, I want to help avoiding it, avoiding repeating my mistake. So let's see what happened and what should have happened instead. If you have watched my previous videos, you probably remember how happy I was when I found this LCD panel. So based on the specs, it looked really good. I mean, high resolution, great colors, and it was cheap. So I thought, okay, I definitely buy it and I will build a project around it. Namely, a smart thermostat. But in the first place, instead of a smart thermostat, I ended up with this 12 volt powered info box. And yeah, the problems started to show up. So even though I'm a newbie when it comes to electronics, I have a long history of managing possible risks as a software developer, so I always chose the better safe than sorry way. So instead of straight building the thermostat and trusting my house's heating system on an unknown configuration of uh, Chinese hardware parts, I decided to have this info box first. And oh boy, I was right. So it all started with this board I tried to use. It's a combination of an ESP8266 and an Arduino Mega. And since the LCD panel is an Arduino shield, I thought to myself, what could possibly go wrong, right? I won't go into details because I already made a video about this board, but I ended up with buying another one. This time an ESP32 based one. To be honest, this board looked like a clean and clear replacement. It has an ESP32, it comes with some nice features of the board itself, like the micro USB, and of course with all the extras the ESP32 yields. So cool. I thought to myself, why not buy it? $10 doesn't cost that much. And finally, hopefully I will be able to create that smart armor stat. And then guess what? Apparently, once again, I made a mistake. Let me explain. While I tend to think that the whole thing is my fault, it turns out it doesn't really. So if you take a look on the, these two boards, then uh, you can see this is the ESP32 one, this is the Arduino Uno. And um, this board is claimed to be 100% compatible. Now what caused the problem in my situation is the lack of analog pins on this one. But if you check the board, it says pretty much the same. Six analog pins here and here. Okay, the actual pin numbers are a bit different, but uh, most of the case you can just remap the GPIO pins in Arduino ID, for example. So that shouldn't really be a problem. However, a pin being an analog or a digital GPIO pin or used for something totally different, now that's a problem. And guess what? This happened in this case. So these are not really analog pins. Turns out only two of them are actual analog pins. Funny, right? I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world.
Okay, so let me quickly explain what happened here. So I was in the final stage of editing this video and basically giving up on this board. Then I had this hunch feeling that I should check the ESP32 documentation just to make sure about that thing, you know, the number of analog pins. And boy, I was right. So it turns out that the ESP32 is pretty much capable of driving this display, but the board itself, well, it's another question. So as you will see soon, they basically added those extra analog pins. It's just not at the same location where it is on the Arduino Uno. So I had to rewire the board. Okay, let me show you. So this is basically what I have done. You see those three little holes. I just soldered some uh, jumper wires into them and uh, bend these pins so I can uh, set the jumper wires here. Also needed to desolder these sockets so I can put the board together here in this way. And yeah, pretty much that's it. And finally here's a shocker. This whole thing was hinted in the header file of the library I use. But why would I check the header file of a library? Damn, it was there the whole time. I cannot believe this. God damn. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.